Hey everyone, it's Jamie from Independent Street NOLA, and I'm here to talk about the full moon on Sunday, August 22nd, I believe. Um, and it's called a blue moon because we're having two full moons in one season. So this is the second full moon in Leo. So my washer machine just started, so I hope you can still hear me. Um, and so what's there's it's very interesting. So the first full moon we had in Leo was in Aquarius and now we're having a second full moon in Aquarius in Leo. So um, there's a lot of things that I find super interesting about this. So the Sun is in the 29th degree of Leo when this happens, which is the last beacon, if you will, of Leo. And when the Sun is in uh, in those degrees, it's usually a, um, a energy of mastery. So I feel like with this moon, full moon being in Aquarius, right? And so the moon and the sun are opposite each other. And so the sun, of course, is shining on the moon, which is illuminating the moon, which is, I just love that so much. So um, you guys know I love to talk about the sun and moon. So, um, and so the sun is in the 29th degree of Leo, and it's shining on the moon, which is in Aquarius. And what's interesting is this full moon is at its peak at 7.30 a.m. on Sunday. And so by the end of the day, the moon will actually move into Pisces, and the sun will actually move into Virgo. So. Um, and also what that will do is then set us back into a normal lunar cycle where the new moon coming in will be in Virgo and then the full moon will be, I believe, in Pisces. And so for the past year or so, it's been backwards. We've been starting off a season with a full moon and then ending the season with a new moon. So now, after this, we go back into a quote unquote normal lunar cycle where we'll start a season with a new moon and end with a full moon. So just that alone, there's been so much change and so much shake up, right? And in, in our uh, energy, in our, um, on our planet, right? And so I find it very beautiful that we're ending that whole cycle with a full moon in Aquarius because I believe we've moved into Aquarius season and both Jupiter and Saturn are still in Aquarius. And just so you know, Saturn's going to be in Aquarius till 2023, so don't, he, he's parked for a while. Um, and so, to me, this is a lot, of, a lot of beautiful energy. And it, to me, it speaks of, you know, the moon is intuition. The moon is um, ruled by Venus. Um, and actually, she's in Taurus right now where she's at home. Um, and this is a lot of good energy coming through, right? And I know that a lot of us are going through things that don't feel, uh, on one hand, feel very uncomfortable, but on the other hand, there's some sort of quiet confidence that we know we're getting to the other side. And that's, and that's what this full moon to me is all about because Leo is in its, the sun is in the final degrees of Leo, right? And Leo is, um, in its higher form, it is confidence, right? It is um, that solar plexus. And, you know, the moon, while it is um, full, right? But she understands how to shine without yelling, right? Without um, having to get all the attention. And so Leo, if before its transformation, if you will, or in its lower form, is all about um, being boastful and just kind of a jackass, right? And, you know, being the lower vibration of that adolescent, right? Of that adolescent energy, energy, I should say. And here it's at, which I believe all these, um, you know, we talk about the lower and the higher energy of all the planets, but I feel like we're staying sort of like towards the middle and going up to the higher energy of these planets from now on. So, but Leo is here and it is, um, blasting us with this quiet confidence, right? Leo doesn't have to roar. The lion knows its power, and the lion knows what it's leaving behind, and the lion understands um, 
its heart. And so we go back to the moon in Aquarius. And Aquarius is ruled by Uranus and Saturn. And Uranus, of course, is the cosmic mind, right? And so, um, which to me, I always, um, I always go with the heart. The heart to me is the cosmic mind, right? And so this moon is really getting us um, to leave all the lower, lower vibrations behind of a low, a low self-esteem, right? A low shitty ego, low matrixy stuff, right? That's like why we keep waking up and we're seeing things. This moon is illuminating things that we didn't see before. The moon is illuminating um, energies that we didn't know that we could carry with us from now on, right? Like we are, we're moving ahead. And in that moving ahead, you know, there is this release of um, lower energies, you know, toxins, um, you know, just this idea that we couldn't do it. The idea that, oh, that was our life. And, and the reality of it is so many things are opening up to us that it's like, oh, oh, actually, I can do this. Oh, I can move on. Oh, I don't have to be in that codependent relationship anymore, right? And that's a huge theme that I see playing out, um, which we've been talking about for years, quite honestly, but in all sorts of different ways, through work relationships, like through work, I don't even want to use the word relationships, through work, home, friends, all that stuff, right? And we have that quiet confidence. Now, we might be crying through this quiet confidence, but we do have that quiet, quiet confidence. And that's the part that we need to energetically um, hold on to and just realize that there is no fire, if you will, to keep feeding codependency and um, just lower toxic relationships there's just no fire to keep feeding that the light has the light has come in and it's reprogramming all this energy right that's why we're waking up you know that's why we have new ideas that's why we are setting boundaries and we're able to do that and keep moving through them and feeling confident in them because that's where the energy on the planet is right now now energy is energy and the emotion that you put on that energy is up to you Right, so that goes back to the individual in the age of Aquarius. Um, at the same time, the collective energy is wanting to ascend and um, move out of those lower vibrations. So I just want to say, which we are, by the way, uh, but I just want to say one more thing. Um, good job, of course, everybody. And also, um, you can have this energy move through you quickly, quietly, calmly, right? And you can bring in the new energy quickly, quietly, and calmly. And you can ask for that to happen every day. You know, every day, love yourself with the heart of a lion. You know, every day, um, you can tell yourself, I am confident. I do make confident decisions, you know. Um, I am looking forward to the future, you know, all these things. Um, because it is important to work on yourself, right? Aquarius is the individual, so work on yourself. See yourself first. Know your worth. Um, know your confidence. And then realize, um, and I've got to, I've got, I'm trying to work in this, the whole thing about Virgo here. So, because the sun goes into Virgo, right, on the same day. And Virgo, at that lower energy, is the martyr. And um, Virgo, uh, you know, and I'm not saying this as for if you're a Virgo, I'm not, uh, you're a Virgo, just that Virgo energy of being the martyr and staying in uh, codependent relationships and not being able to say no and, and, you know, all, you know, on and on and on. The Virgin Mary is the um, sign, the Blessed Mother for Virgo, right? And one of the things that always resonated with me was that she ascended when she realized that um, sins and, you know, feeling like you had to do things for other people wasn't true. That was just all, quote unquote, man-made. And that's how she was able to ascend, because that none of that is true. 
And so I would like for you to also think about that as we go into Virgo season, right? You, you know, you can help people if you'd like, right? You know, always put yourself first. But always know, like, if someone's telling you you have to do this, you have to do that, we're in the age of Aquarius. It is about yourself. You don't have to do those things. And I'm not talking about, I'm talking about relationships or um, situations where people aren't taking care of themselves. Okay, I hope, I hope this makes sense. I think you guys know what I mean energetically, right? Like, you can't keep, you know, working 16 extra shifts because your coworker isn't doing what they said they kind of do type things, right? Those kind, those are the kind of um, codependent relationships, like the, that kind of energy that is exiting the planet stage left, right? So know that, know that quiet confidence um, and move forward into Virgo season knowing that, you know, once the Virgin Mary realized none of this is true, pew, you know, she was able to ascend and hold space. So I'm sure we'll talk more about that on the new moon in Virgo. Um, this is getting a little long, so I'm going to try and upload this as quickly as possible. Of course, as always, if you have questions, uh, comment below or slide into my DMs. And I hope you guys all have a great weekend despite all the, you know, um, energy we feel coming in uh, know it is quite it is quite beautiful and quite calm so see if you guys can catch on to that calmness all right talk to you soon